Well, um, it's interesting for me uh, to see the map from this uh, vantage point because I've been watching it from the other, or, you know, viewing it from the other side. Um, I was thinking, well, you might as well see it, you know, with the text the proper way around. Um, I'm not sure I knocked over accidentally. This is one of the reinforcement spots Rob uh, picked. I think it's a... Well, anyways, it's it's a two now. He'll uh, uh, correct me. And he also put a reinforcement spot here in Fayetteville. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, we haven't played much. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing right off the bat. Um, I wish Rob did YouTube videos um, doing rules. Because for somebody who's only started reading the rules two weeks ago and has nowhere near the amount of free time that I do. I'm not even close. I'm sure he salivates at the amount of free time I have to devote to gaming and uh, ridiculous indulgent pleasures. Um, he was reading out the rules. I think I said it a few times. I was just absolutely stunned. And I could tell, based on the way he was talking, he wasn't looking at the rules very often, but you can tell when someone's BSing or they know it. Um, and he's very honest. That's the, the thing about Rob. You, you got to learn right off the bat. Now, this guy's not going to screw around. Um, yeah, I was like, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. And he seems to... Anyways, I was like, yeah, I'm in good hands. Because like I said, I haven't read the rules. I don't know much about the Civil War, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I think it's going well. I think maybe Rob wants perhaps the pacing to go a bit quicker. Um, but today I was super tired. I've already missed my first sleep. Um, I'm going to play this out and then, um, or like, you know, film my stuff. And then I think I'm just going to have a shower and like, boink, that's it. But um, so he did. Anyways, I think I don't know if you know anything about uh, this game system. But uh, so all we did was read up, uh, read about the rules, which I like I told you, I think Rob did a fantastic job. We constantly mentioned uh, the quality, the um the quality of the components is just amazing. I cannot stop touching this flipping map. It's um, just got this weird... Oh, I just like this texture. It's, it's just really... Anyways, well done. Really, really nice. I love this. Um, Rob showed it to me. Like I told you, uh, he knows the game way more than I do. We each get this separate thing. Uh, he was like, look, Chris. Yeah, like we can... Uh, awesome stuff. Um so he reinforced here, uh, here at Decatur or Decatur. I don't know how you guys um, say it. Here as well. He put an arsenal there. Um, he put someone in Weldon. And he also increased uh, Mr. Beauregard over there. Um, I, on the other hand, like I said, I don't know anything about this game. Or the war... Or or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so what, but I love this spot. So what I've decided to do, okay, we'll flip over. You know what? We're going to go for my, cause I, this is just freaking me out on this side. <laughs> What's going on? Um, so what I decided to do is I'm going to hammer away uh, towards here. Um, I want to, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going for Clarksville. And then I'm going to go to, for Nashville. Uh, there's four points right there. Four resource points, I think, is what uh, Rob was saying. I, I have to go for the resource points. He's going for objectives. And there's a lot of objectives, I think, here. So I'm thinking that if I can hammer this spot, it'll be very hard for him to get towards this area. I may be wrong. I don't know. And I love that I'm using this as a natural barrier. My version of the, sorry, the Mysterian Lakes. I'm sorry, man. What do you think my mind is? Um, so then anyway, anyways, I'm going to try and take this spot. And I think I'm in great shape. And I'm telling him what I'm doing because we're just playing the game out and, um, you know, having some fun. Um, so I'm going to try to use, like I had to ask questions about... Um, Am I allowed to make attacks without generals and so on and so forth? I don't like all this stuff. Um, 
Like, am I allowed to enter an area that you're not there in? I, I, I you know, all these things. Um, so I, he said, no, I'm not allowed to use the rail until I can occupy the ter Anyways, it's okay. I'm like, we're learning, but I'm going to go for here. This is my, my main focus is here. I want to separate. I want to cut off his resource supply points. So my main focus is going to be just all this. I want, okay, it would be lovely to finally go to, an, uh, to New Orleans, but I don't think that's going to happen. But at the bare minimum, I want to um, get to here. That would be, this is it. I like, I'm going for that baby. And like I said, I just love the name Trans Mississippi. I was like, wow, <laughs> that's, I, I read a cover, you know, or I read a book by its cover, or judge it or whatever, or buy it or that's the way I go. Um, here, all I'm going to do is try to, um, stalling tactics or plugging or something. So I did reinforce, I put a ton of people in Pittsburgh, wherever the hell that is. There it is. I put tons of people here. Uh, shoots and ladders. Where else did I go? Um, maybe, I don't know, somewhere around there. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But, um. I did whatever I could here, as in, let's go, baby. So that's it for the uh, the Civil War uh, thing. Uh, it's going extremely well, I think. Oh, my God. No, actually, it's not the end of the Civil War. What am I saying? Rob went over the flip and top, and I mean over the top, with uh, the cooking. Remember I was telling you about um, we were going to do uh, theme cooking and all that stuff? Holy F. He brought over... And we, he was even having like a little uh, message banter um, stuff. Uh, it was awesome. We were having some good stuff because uh, I uh, said something. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm going to bring over some cornbread. And I was like, I adore cornbread. And he's like, none of that northern stuff. And uh, it's going to be, you know, southern cornbread. And I was like, well, that's all we get um, from the ships bound for Europe. And... Um, so we had a good chit chat about that. But this is the fun thing. When I had his freaking Southern cornbread, I've never had Southern cornbread before in my life. It was completely different than Northern cornbread. Well, obviously not nor uh, completely. Otherwise, it would, wouldn't have corn in it and stuff like that. But um, it was smooth. It was, uh, well, I could taste the egg a mile away. I've never had egg in cornbread. I was like, what the F? But, I mean, it was... Um, very smooth, textured. Um, I can't wait to fry it up. Actually, refry it. It'll be great. Um, oh, my God. The stuff he was telling me. Like, when I say he was going historical, he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, Chris, this was fried in lard and <laughs> all kinds of stuff like that. I was like, oh, my God. Like, you went nuts, man. Like, I should go and plow a field after re uh, eating this flipping cornbread. It was nuts. It was fun, man. Anyways, um, yeah, what else did we have? He made some amazing, I don't know if it would you would call it hash or something, but um, all I can tell you is I'm going to have to put the link in this video for um, one of the YouTube videos I love, uh, channels, it's Townsend or whatever, it's like 17th century cooking and so on and so forth. Love that channel. And... It reminded me of that. It was, anyways, he made this potato hash with uh, ham and paprika, and he tried to use, uh, he said, oh, I'm trying to use New World spices, but you know, I couldn't find this side or the other thing, so I had to use paprika. I oh, wasn't cheating. Oh, my, as if cheating. The guy's gone beyond belief, over the top. You know, like, come on, man. I should have straw sticking out of my teeth if he wins this war for current. That's why I'm feeling. Anyways, um... So that's it. It went well. Um, oh, on a side note, Can Games sent out a general email saying if uh, you know you're ready for playing a game or or you know like running a game, please uh, get it out by the seventeenth of February. I shouldn't touch this map, Jesus Christ. Like, I mean, I could be hitting counters. I don't know where stuff is. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, maybe I'll pop on over to the uh, Tandenberg game. We'll see what's going on there. Um, so, you know what? I'm only going to, uh, I think, run one game this year uh, for Can Games. Uh, unless they, I hear from the chitter-chatter 
that um, you know they're crying out for miniatures games. I know they've always been crying out for them, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the reason being I'm saying that is, hold on, it's going to get probably crazy dark. Oh, hold on, what am I saying? I can hit the pause button for goodness sakes. There we go. Yeah, Rob got to see this. He was freaked out. And we got to talk about uh, the Tannenberg game, which was kind of nice and so on and so forth stuff. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to run the uh, Table Battles game on the Friday afternoon. And then the rest of the time, I'm either going to do the vendor stuff excuse me, or volunteer. Um, the reason being is, um, I just feel like, a, like I said, I'm in a giving back type of, a, especially after three years with can games, they probably need the help. And hey man, let's just, you know, I'll just, uh, yeah, just immerse myself that way. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I don't know why the heck I uh, mentioned uh, Zoe in this little tiddly bit. No, uh, maybe, um, yeah, she put me in the right context or the right frame of mind. And I'm super excited to hear that uh, she potentially um, wants to uh, play with the tin whistle. I showed her my different tin whistles that I have in the Kia C and showed her like the different uh, materials that are done, uh, made with, you know, with it and how they sound different and how I suck at all of them because I don't practice enough and uh, but don't get guilty about it, especially with hobbies, you know, like it's ebb and flow and but right now I feel like I really, I just want to, just want to play the effing thing. Um, she has one of my tin whistles in the key of D, uh, cause she, I wanted her to make like a, so a little, uh, thing, but she's really flipping good. Uh, like just, I was like right off the bat, like she, I was like, here, try, try a few notes. And she's like, I was like, holy Jesus. So she loves Tuck Everlasting. I know that, uh, that was the very first tune I properly learned and learned um, accidentally once I can remember playing going, oh my God, uh, I wasn't looking at the tab sheet notes. You know, I was like, oh my God, I'm playing it just by myself. Oh, that freaked me right out. Um, so she's going to probably learn, uh, and when we meet together, hopefully we'll do a little bit of tin whistling. Um, I love the, uh, the Kia C. She's got a Kia D. I'll just get her a Kia C a whistle. Uh, I'll, when we practice now, uh, I'll do the D. I've got a D one, but uh, no biggie. No biggie. It just sound weird if we're, you know, practicing and like, it'll be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Even though we got the melody, right? It'll be like, what the hell? Um, you know what? I think my live stream's going pretty darn good. Um, yeah, let's go down here. I'm going to pause a bit. Oh, oh, geez. Do I ever like the music that's going on in my head right now? Well, you don't hear it. It is lovely. Well, let's see if this works again, but I'm going to put on the light now. Hold on. Ooh. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Um, yeah, Rob was the second person this week. Like I said, Zoe was looking at this map. And, um, you know, I'll try to pretend overhead. I won't even look at what oh, I can't see what you see. So I'll just go like this. Um, yeah, Rob was like really interested at looking at the map today. Um, or, uh, was it Zoe? Yeah. Yesterday, uh, yesterday Zoe was looking at the, uh, bridges. She was like, what the hell is that thing? Was it her or I think it was. And so I had to explain, like, well, this is the whole bridge and what's going on here, there, and everywhere. Like, you know, 160, you know, nearly 170,000 people died there, man. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I think the live stream's going really well. Um, I'm shocked, absolutely shocked, that I have way more material than I thought I would... Uh, uh, have. Uh, I thought for sure that um, I was going to run out of things to talk about or show and I'm not even close. I'm like, you probably have another, I would say, three episodes of just looking at the World War I Museum and Memorial website, for goodness sakes. I haven't even started the terrain stuff. So jeepers jumping, man. Um, what else did I want to talk to you about? I think not too much. Like I said, I'm beyond tired. I'm probably like, what the hell is going on with your your mind? Um, shower and sleep, dude. Sleep. Um, 
like wow i'm uh, i'm sorry i'm in whatever mode but um god i can't believe i'm like part of some community it's just so cool um god there's just so many nice people man um and can games is happening it's really flipping happening Whew, that's going to be, uh, like I can already feel the hairs, not on my back. I'm talking on my spine, man. Um, like the microcilia are just boink. Um, yeah, I'm going to be surrounded by flipping people who have not been to can games in three years. Talking to people, I don't know who they are. You know what I mean? Like, and they're just, I'm just get to observe this beautiful energy of people going, oh my God, I haven't seen you in three years. And all the gaming interaction that happens on a normal level once a year is going to be multiplied by Lord knows what's. Holy F. And excuse me, I get to volunteer there and they will accept that. And I get to wander around for hours on end, staring at people loving doing what we do. Are you nuts? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's it.